What's up everyone, Steve again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24 7. Check out this, another jet engine. This one is a T700 turbo shaft engine from Sterling Kit. Links are down below for you to go check it out. They're pretty much all metal. Awesome display piece that actually works, you know, it shows you the functions. It's pretty sweet. Um, this one has 470 pieces. Degree of difficulty, four stars apparently. But uh, I'll put this guy together, but I wanted to show you the pieces before it's uh, all done. Really nice instruction manual on these. Color, really easy to follow, as you can see. Nice, it's, it's thick as, awesome. Like you've seen in these previous ones I've done, the packaging in these are amazing. Beautifully, uh, beautifully presented, nice foam packaging. And all the nuts and small parts, bearings and stuff are all in these. Really cool, and they are easily identifiable. And this one, I've got bearings and stuff like that. Check out that. Sweet. So as you can see, the parts, like I said, majority all metals. Some plastic here, but as you can see, I feel like, I don't know what's that, cast aluminium or something like that. Next layer, turbines. And the tool kit you get in these are actually pretty good quality. They're not, uh, you know, soft at all. They actually stand up. And they're really good, I like them. They're not like Play-Doh. Different tools here, you can see, metal parts. Nice stuff. And another layer. Oh, we've got the electronics here, little control board, because it actually kind of doesn't work. Like it produces thrust, but it actually spins so you can see through. That's why those plastic parts were in the beginning, so you can see through the engine. Small little LiPo battery here of one cell, 3.7 volt, 800 milliamp hour to, to run it all. So, there we go. All right, a lot of parts, a lot of building. Oh, this, that's heavy. This box actually, <laughs> it does weigh a bit, to be honest, but uh, enough for that. Apparently it takes three hours put together. I'll see how it all goes. Any major issues, I'll show, but uh, if not, I'll show the end result and put it all together. There we go. Look at that, doesn't that look nice? Apparently, first run in 1973, and they were in some helicopters like the Black Hawk, the Seahawk, 20,000 of these were made, so there we go. But apart from with the build, easy, no issues, Simply put together. Instructions were good, like you saw in the beginning. And uh, yeah, so basically comes with a nice stand, a little switch here. You can see it's got like these two little LEDs, like that. And you got like a little throttle here, right up, and that's it. Pretty cool. The battery's have a charge since I've got it, but there we go. That's our ball bearings. It's got a little plastic, any real plastic are these covers here. And that is it, you don't need to put them on if you don't want to, but it does throttle down, throttle up to a degree. So, there we go. Got a gearbox mechanism up there. That's cool. Like I said, I haven't charged the batteries, so probably could go a little bit faster. But I think it looks fantastic. I've done a good job. Come down at a place to look. There you go. These are always cool, fun to build if you're an enthusiast with engine nut or even into aeronautics or aviation, sorry. Just a little to a sink and a little turn over there for the different compressors. It's good. Let me know what you guys think. Do you have this one? Or any of the others? Uh, yeah, give me your thoughts. Thanks for that like and again. Check it out. Simple, quick build, didn't take long at all. Just uh, make sure you have like one of those small little electric uh, screwdrivers. That helps a bunch. I think I'll, I'll leave a link in the description for those. It definitely helps with uh, venture. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. And I'll, uh, I'll get another one of these later on. Or another type of motor. Or engine, not motor. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video.